Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm a standard bred trainer in harness racing and a vet. I'd like to take you through our stables and show you what we get up to in the morning. It's pretty chilly here already and we've been up for a few hours, but let's come take a look. This is Double Espresso. We call her Viv and she's all bright eyed this morning, all geared up, ready to go for our morning jog. She's so beautiful, so kind. And you girl, we love her. So Viv's just rolling along out here. She's pretty happy with herself, I think. She's listening to me. She's having a little canter now. So Viv's just come back in now, posing her head down, as you can see. <laughs> Trying to get a little sip of water at the same time. Good for them. We just want to sort of get the sweat out of their coats and pull them off and help them recover. So here's Mac. He's just done his morning jog. And he's about to have a swim, swim and a snack. Swimming's really good for them after exercise, helps cool their muscles down rapidly and just another way to cool down after exercise. Still eating his bit of grass while he swims. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the afternoon here, which means it's speed up time. We're just outside the feed room, so let's go in and check it out. And as you can see, we've got lots of mouths that we need to feed. And just like with humans needing different dietary requirements, so do our horses. This is an example of one of our horses feeds Louis, and he's got a low carb, low energy based muesli. That's just to help reduce lactic acid production and help with his muscles and training. So all our horses are checked over every day uh, to ensure that they're in tip top shape, especially just checking their legs, making sure that there's no lumps and bumps, no signs of any swelling. We also want to check that their muscles are nice and soft and then it's just as much as the close-up checks are important. We also want to make sure that when we trot them out that they're moving freely and soundly. People ask why I dedicate my life to horses and to be honest I couldn't imagine doing anything else. It's definitely a lifestyle and in becoming a vet I can ensure now that they have the best care that they need. So to round off the end of the day, I'm about to jump into the tractor. It's important that our track surfaces are even and clear of any objects such as sticks, honky nuts, to ensure that the track stays safe for the horses. And thanks for joining me today and learning a bit about what we do.